Hey, hey, hey. Sonic Blue Darkfold here in the final part of Dracula Unleashed. Are you getting excited about seeing how this will end? Me too. Let's go visit Jonathan Harker and share the happiness. 56 Rochester in Marble. Now we just left Anisette's home and here we are at Jonathan Harker's. We don't have to have anything in hand if we don't want to. Are you all right, Mrs. Harker? <laughs> Call me Mina, please. I'm fine, really. Well, you seem worried about something, Miss Mina. <laughs> Miss Mina is what Quincy used to call me. Can I confide in you, Mr. Morris? Certainly. I am very disturbed. I see glimpses of the Count in my mind. How? How is this possible? I carry a bond with him from years ago. At times I see him as though through a fog. What do you see now? It may help us find him. He appears different than before, but familiar. He seems close to us. Very close. Well... It's starting to come together now, and her vision of Dracula could very well be closer than you think. It's going to be quite a shock, isn't it? Well, let's go and see if we can uh, put some heads or tails to this. But just to be safe, I feel the need to go into a cemetery to visit a certain Juliet Adams. But wait, she fell victim to the Nosferatu bite of Count Dracula himself. And thus, in turn, became the one of the bloofer ladies. So we must go with our stake and mallet in hand to put a stop to the bloofer lady of Juliet Adams before it gets started. So let's go to the cemetery and put it into a vampire bitch. I'd like to go to 33. All right, I got the stake. I got the mallet. Let's go. <laughs> Before the dark becomes the day, night's journey must progress into a dark and silent place with dreams miraculous. I'm here, my love. Don't cry. Kiss you. Don't buy it. Don't fall for it. Where's Alexander Morris? Where's Professor Van Helsing when you need him? Alexander! Jonathan! Quick, come! What about uh -oh. that? Leave him! His mind is no more! <laughs> Uh-oh. Jonathan, protect me! Mina? No! Alexander, help me! I'm here, Alexander. No, Alexander! It's not here! <laughs> no, Alexander! Get her! Get her! Kill her! Drive that stake into that vampire's heart. <laughs> they freak me out. Okay. So now, after we've put an end to the, uh, the undead pirate... Pirate. I'm still thinking of the previous game. The undead vampire of... Juliet Adams, not Guybrush Threepwood, and not LeChuck. That was in the previous game. I still got Pirate on the brain. So what do you say we jump into this carriage here and not charter a ship this time? This time we're going to go and freak on over to visit Anisette. Make sure she's okay. Let's go to the Bowen home. I'd like to go to 10 Camp... You fools! You fools! How you do this? You sleep and the monster will come! Stay back, give room! But how did Dracula get in here? Well, if none of you is protecting Anaset, then it falls to me. Also, I must hypnotize her as I once do Mina. Oh, I pray we find out what the demon be up to. Is that wise? Won't that tip Dracula off to our plan? Then? 
What plan? We have no plan. But doctor, what can I do? Anything, anything what at all. Do I look like an old man? Out, out, all of you. You're no good to me here. Hmm. Well, Anaset looks like she was fallen victim just like Juliet Adams. Could there still be time to save her? Pass time until 9 o'clock and then see Anaset again. What time is it? 8.25 p.m. 8.25. Well, let's pass the time. It's 8.25, so... Eight fifty-five p.m. And now we just need to pass five more minutes. Nine o'clock p.m. Nine p.m. All right. Now let's go back in and visit. Hello, no? Miss Culpepper. I'm here to see you in a set. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Morris. She's not to be disturbed. Well then, maybe I didn't let time go by enough. Nine o five p.m. It's nine o five p.m. Let's pass five more minutes. 9.10 p.m. Okay, let's return. Usually at about 9 o'clock you can visit Anaset again. Go ahead and return. Thank you. Can we visit her now? No? Bonus can't visit pepper. her now. I don't believe it. 9.15 p.m. It's 9.15 p.m. Hmm. Well, according to this, I can visit Anaset again. Well, okay, I'm going to try to see if uh, this is right, because apparently two sets of notes can be different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head home, read a telegram, then come back and see if I can finish this out. Let's go home and read a telegram. Please take me to 45... I should be able to do this. But if not, I can always restart back to where I was, get myself back from using the save point. No telegrams arrived. Huh. Alright, that's peculiar because I haven't sent any out. Alright, well, back to the carriage. Going back to Anisets. I know I'd you gotta like make to go your to way back Camp there. I know you gotta make your way back there, I just don't know when. This could be it. Ha! Here it is. <laughs> oh my god, who is that? Stop! Stop? <laughs> you think you can stop me? I who have come back from the grave again and again, I will kill you! and all your friends, and feast upon your blood. <laughs> Doctor! Quickly, we must get him to my house. We can have Mina stay with Anaset. You... you... that paid... again... <sighs> Well then, good thing we came back here, isn't it? And I hope that my notes are precise. I hope that my notes are precise. I would hate to see if they are not. Well then, we must go to the Harker's home as instructed. Let's go. To Harker's home. On the double. Step on it. 56 Rochester. I agree with your self-diagnosis, Doctor. You appear to have suffered a stoppage of the heart. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? Mina, what are you Anna doing? Anna said, where is Anna set? Mr. Goldacre told me Van Helsing wanted to talk with me right away. He said he would watch Anna set. Van Helsing is sent for no one. <coughs> Rest, <coughs> Doctor. Don't try and talk. Holmwood! Holmwood is... Off. Jonathan, what's wrong? Anna set! Hmm, he figured it out. He said Holmwood. Well then, uh, let's see. We visited the Harker's home. We gotta go to Anaset. He started screaming Anaset's name. Let's go to Anaset. Go back to the Bowen home. I'd like to go to 10 K. Anaset! Uh oh, what happened here? What happened? She's gone. Well, Van Helsing said Holmwood. 
Let's go there and check out and see what's going on with the Homewood home. I'd like to go to 19... Regina, where's Arthur? Regina! Regina? Ah! Oh, creepy, creepy, creepy. Well, it looks like that uh, Regina Homewood well, turned out to be not what she appeared to be. Life after life, indeed. Well... What do you say we go and put a stop to them? And I believe that they might have been hiding out at the Hades Club. This is the final bout with the Lord of Darkness, a.k.a. Vlad the Impaler, a.k.a. the Nosferatu, a.k.a. Count Dracula. We need the cross, and we need it now. We need it fast. We need to get an end to that vampire, so we can't do anything with the stake and mallet. That's not going to be strong enough. We need something more powerful, more holy. There it is. Get that cross in hand and let's head over to the Hades Club where Homewood inducted us and see if we can put an end to his shenanigans once and for all. Hades Club, here we come. Please take me to 20... Don't bother struggling, my dear. Your pain will soon be over. Dracula? No, you are not he. But he will be here soon, very soon. You see, he needs Alicet. And he will do to her as he's done to my Juliet. Never mind! And, no, brilliant. You see, he will come. I've baited the trap. And now he will find out who the true master is. <laughs> Oh, Anacet, I'm so sorry I put you through this. Hold on, I get you out of here. Creepy. Ah, my dear friends, we're together again. Oh, Arthur. Thank heaven you're here. He's not Arthur. No. I slew him in his wench months ago. Now no one can hear your screams, Alexander, as I flayed of any flesh from your body. And you, my dear Alicent, with you by my side, I will be ready to reign again, ruling the night for all eternity. Stop, demon! Come no further! <laughs> you poor fool. I am Lord of the Nosferatu. I have ruled the dark for centuries untold. Do you really believe this mere trinket can stand between me and my bride? Alright, that didn't do any good. But perhaps this will! No! Yes! That's not you all. cannot stop me. Oh, I can and I will. Nothing can stop me. Kicked it right over to Devil and Goldacre. Could there be a sequel, perhaps? Maybe they intended for one. But you have one, for now. How cruel are the fates. Arthur and Regina never had a chance. Dracula gave them no warning he had returned. Thank heaven it's over. Yeah, it is over, my friends. And we are all alive. Dracula is gone forever. At least until the next sequel, which there won't be another sequel to Dracula Unleashed. At least not yet. Maybe we should well, talk to Viacom.
I feared your great sacrifice might have been for naught, but we won! Now Anaset and I look forward to the coming dawn and a bright new year. And everybody lives happily ever after. And you have now completed your quest as Alexander Morris in Dracula Unleashed. You've met many friends. You've confided in so many people. You've laid your trust in the wrong hands. But you still perceived as the winner. And now, Quincy can lay to rest. And Dracula's ashes shall forevermore be placed, finally, in peace. You have won. Congratulations, you have sawn it through. You've sawn it through. You've seen it through. And you've bare the scars of your battle. But how long will you go before adventure strikes you again? Or your legend may finally be told and completed. Who knows what's going to happen around the next corner. Stay tuned as I bring you a next series of videos on Let's Play. I'm Sonic Blue Darkfold, and may your adventures be triumphed. If you like what you've seen here so far, please use the subscribe button and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Infinite Adventures, may you forever rest in peace.